I just finished my workout. I've got a massive pump. So let's compare my physique now versus me right now after I just woke up. Keep in mind, it's the same day. Okay. Coach Greg, in today's video, this natural guy, he has a mid physique. He only looks good on social media when he's completely pumped up under good lighting with the best camera angles possible. The guy is so brave that he shows himself when he's not pumped up. First thing in the morning, when he first wakes up, no pump in his muscles, no blood flowing, not flexing. And so he's so brave, he dared to show this. And you're going to be shocked to see it just how mid his physique really is. No cap. Well, actually, a lot of cap. Let's examine his physique when he's all pumped up, sweating, blood's flowing, he's ripped. Let's check him out. I just finished my workout. I've got a massive pump. So let's compare my physique now versus me right now after I just woke up. Keep in mind, it's the same day. Okay, how many of you out there think that he has a mid or average looking natty physique when he first wakes up in the morning? I mean, look at him in the morning. I can clearly see a six pack. The guy's not even flexing. He's talking all tired. He has no energy. It's like, hey, it's first thing in the morning and I just woke up. You guys realize I just woke up? Do I talk like this just because I just woke up? Oh my goodness, like I'm so tired. No, I can talk loud whenever I want. I just woke up, my mouth is dry, I've been sick for three freaking weeks, I've hardly been able to train. Yet, this is how I look in the morning. This is my morning physique. But notice I'm flexing. If I relax, yeah, I don't see as many abs. I'm not as crazy as if I'm flexing. If I'm flexing, I look a lot better. Look at me, I have a massive pump. I, I, I just finished my workout. I actually didn't, I just flexed. And so let's compare my physique now versus now after I just woke up. And keep in mind, it's the same five seconds. And every time I post a photo on Instagram and I'm flexing, people comment on my loose skin. So here's the loose skin, notice at the bottom. See this? It's less tight than it used to be. I feel like I have to do the friggin' limbo dance here. How do I show this at the same time? Am I gonna lose sleep over the fact that you can see my skin on my stomach? So what? I have skin. It's allowed. I'm a 48 year old man. And so it's okay. I have some loose skin. I'm an old man. But listen, this loose skin is way better than 99% of people my own age. You should not compare yourself to other people. It's ridiculous. Just look at me. I feel jacked. I got a ton of blood in my muscles. And yes, he is jacked. He looks jacked when he's pumped up, but he looks jacked when he's not. First thing in the morning, he still looks incredible. But guess what? I only look like this maybe 5% of the time. And so yeah, you're only gonna look crazy 5% of the time. But guess what? I only look like this when I'm flexing. Most of the time, I'm an IFBB pro bodybuilder who's on HRT. I'm not even natural. And so even when I'm standing relaxed, it's not horrible. Dude, you look great. What are you talking about? If I'm at the gym while I'm doing a set and I'm curling, I'm gonna see my bicep flex. I'm gonna see my chest move. But any other time of the day, I'm just walking around. I'm gonna look how I look, but it doesn't mean it's not impressive. You don't have to be pumped and jacked and flexing to look impressive. But look at me right now. I feel flat. I'm flabby. And so yeah, I'm, I'm so flat right now and flabby. Like, look at this fat. Look at all the fat on my body. It's so horrible. But notice, when I'm flexing, it doesn't look the same. If I'm flexing, you don't see that. And so to me, this is scary. He should not be feeling flat and flabby. When you have a six pack, you can clearly see it. You should not feel fat. If you have no abs at all and you're a bodybuilder, then yeah, you can feel fat. It's okay. You're allowed to. You have to be at least 20% body fat or more. Then you can say, huh, I maybe should lose some weight. But if you're under 15% body fat, as this guy is, you're not fat. And flat is normal. If you're on a diet and you're not eating a lot of carbs, your muscles are gonna not have that fullness. Anytime you eat fewer carbs, your muscles are gonna be flat. Flat means that your muscles don't have as much glycogen. When you store glycogen, there are three grams of water for every one gram of carb stored in that muscle. And so if you go on a diet, you're going to lose water weight, AKA glycogen, and you're going to look flat. That's how it works. Any time I went in a bodybuilding competition and I dieted, I always felt flat until I went to the gym and got a pump. It's normal. And so if you're trying to diet and you're trying to get to single digit body fat, expect to always look flat unless you have a pump.
but it's okay. But don't think you don't look jacked just because you don't look as good as you do in the gym. Being in the gym and having a pump, it's great. It feels amazing, but it's not something you expect to look like all day long. Unfortunately, this is how I have to portray myself on social media. I mean, really, he's 100% natural. And so obviously, naturals only compare yourself to naturals. If you're 100% natural and you're comparing to people that take steroids, then you're just an idiot. I mean, think of it. It'd be the same thing like a female comparing her bench press to that of a male. Oh, I don't have a good bench press. I can only bench press 195 pounds. In comparison, the men out there, like Coach Greg, he benched 529 pounds, set a world record for masters when he was only 198 pounds. I'm pathetic. I only bench 195. Would it make sense for a female to do that? Clearly, a 195 pound bench press for a woman, it's incredible. It's amazing. But you don't compare it to men because men and women have different expectations. Same for people who are natural versus those on steroids. We have different expectations for how much muscle you have, how much strength you have, and how jacked you can actually get. Just look at this picture, all right? This is from Instagram. I look jacked. But this or this is not an accurate representation of who I am. Listen, both are accurate representations of who you are. When you're standing there relaxed, not pumped, that is an accurate representation of who you are. And when you're in the gym and you're pumped up and you got your swole on, that's also an accurate representation of who you are. Both are. They're both you. One is you pumped and one is you not pumped. They're both accurate. I mean, look at me here right now. I'm only 24 years old and I'm natural there and I have a tan and great lighting and I'm pumped up and I'm flexing. No one can actually look like that. This is just 1% of the time. If you have a gorgeous lawn outside and it looks beautiful during the summer, it's just mowed. Yeah, it looks amazing. And if you don't cut the grass for three days and it's starting to get long, it doesn't look as good. They're both accurate representations of what your yard looks like. And yeah, you look better when you have a pump and you go to the gym and you're flexing. You look better flex than relaxed, but they're both accurate representations of yourself. This is an accurate representation of who I am. I'm just like any other natty dude. And so no, this is the part you need to understand. You are not just like any other natty dude. By him making this video and hundreds of thousands of people watching this, people who are natural, who are then relaxing in their bodies and looking in the mirror, are going to compare themselves to him and think, if he's an accurate representation of natural, then I'm pathetic. Because 99% of people who are natural, they're not going to look this good. So never compare yourself to me or anyone else you see on social media. But if you compare yourself to him, of which he does say, do not compare yourself to other people, you're going to feel in fear. But I need to tell you, I need you to know this. I need you to pay attention. His physique, natural, is better than 99% of the world, at least at a bare minimum. Think of it. He's a famous guy on social media. How do you think he got that way? You think he got that way from looking average? Of course not. Especially when most fitness influencers are doing steroids. That's not reality. This is reality. This is not reality. This, sticking my stomach out as much as I can is not reality. This is not reality. None of this is reality for 99.9% .9 of people. So stop comparing yourself to me or anyone else and just compare yourself to yourself. Be the best version of yourself. And so when you're scrolling through on your Instagram and your TikToks and all this stuff and you see physiques out there, you are seeing the top 1% of the top 1%. That's one in 10,000 physiques. The best of the best and you're inundated with these images and so you're comparing yourself and you're thinking well this guy's natural this guy looks like this or even if you're enhanced you're thinking wow i'm enhanced i don't even look as good as that guy and that guy's natural yeah it's because you're comparing yourself to the best of the best it needs to stop people are developing body dysmorphia they don't like the way they look anymore it's got to change remember it's you versus you just be a better version of yourself than you were yesterday and so i think the one thing lacking in the video is that he has amazing genetics most people with amazing physiques they don't like to talk about how genetics played a very solid role in their body's development and i think the reason for that is people think you need to be so humble that if I say I have amazing genetics, people think I'm bragging. They think I'm doing it to look cool, to be above or better than other people. I'm actually saying this to take away from the fact that I do in fact train hard. I've been training for 38 years. I've been training harder than last time. I've been doing triathlons for 13 years. I'm doing cardio. I train harder than most people. But I do recognize that the fact is I have amazing genetics. You're saying, no, you're five foot six man. You can't have amazing genetics. Look, I understand I'm not tall. 
But my genetics for building muscle, my genetics for being able to do what I'm doing right now, they're far greater than average. If I didn't have amazing genetics for building muscle, I wouldn't look like this at 48 years of age, especially while only on HRT. And some of you are gonna say, oh, it's HRT, it does everything. It's 140 milligrams a week. Of course it helps, but it doesn't help as much as perhaps if I was doing tests, trend, and so on. But I do recognize I'm not natural, and if I wasn't on HRT, I wouldn't look this good. And if I didn't have amazing genetics, I would not be able to have this physique. Wouldn't even have this on steroids. Most people taking steroids are never even gonna look the way I do right now on HRT at 48. Understand that genetics plays a huge role in how much muscle you can have and how your physique is ultimately going to look. Interested in any of the supplements for naturals, G-Test, GO2 Max, Acti Builder, creatine, protein powder, all from harder than last time. Obviously you can get your pre-pumps, your hardcore stim pre-workouts. We have hardcore 2.0 pre-workouts. We have so many versions of different pre-workouts, pre-pumps and so on. Please go on to visit the website. Don't forget we have coaching plans by me and my team, cookbooks, training books, the circle dye book, even a clothing line so you don't have to walk around naked like I am. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of those two bloops. And of course, until next time, I am out.